good day. Hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I do want to speak on this, generally just speaking on holistic health, but also want to touch touch on um, the importance of water in the body and the role that the blood plays outside of what we already know. Um, health is defined, remember what I talked about before, health is defined by culture. Health is not a um, scientific term, it's a social and political term. If you understand that, then you understand that every people or every group of people has a um, different definition of what health is. So, um, and from there, since they define, since people define health differently, they'll have different response mechanisms to what makes them or what makes them not healthy. Um, some people think putting on hand sanitizer and these types of things is what makes people healthy. Um, too much hand sanitizer actually is harmful to your liver, actually. And um, these masks that we wear right here they have people wearing is they only work for about five minutes uh, once the masks become wet um, or moist by the air they are no longer useful um, so the whole mask thing comes from a culture it comes from um, back in the 1800s 1900s um, when the doctors were called duck uh, quack doctors and they would have a beak on these Mask that we wear today, so they have a long beak on them, and they would call them these doctors are quacks. And that's where we get the term quack doctor from. Now, today they took the, the beak off, but they still kept the mask um, together. Now, the beaks, the masks were used for, they would put different types of um, flowers and things in the, in the mask to mask the smell of um, the decaying bodies and. Um, basically the stench of the cities because um, the western culture the Europeans didn't have um, any type of uh, true way of burying um, the dead or they wouldn't have uh, they would use the restroom anywhere in the city or anywhere they, they live so there was a, a huge stench around um, wherever they went so uh, they would wear these, these masks and they would have different types of flowers and things in them that would help pretty much mask the smell of whatever they were in encountering while they were walking around. And this is where these masks come from. So a lot of doctors would wear these masks and they were called quack doctors. So the things that we're wearing today are still a remnant of a ritual or basically a custom that people at that time were doing. So um, from there, there was a fairy tale or nursery rhyme that came from that called uh, Ring Around the Rosie um, with ashes, ashes, they all fall down. That's basically rooted in um, when they all fall down, those are the people who are dying. Um, roses, roses, all the roses are the, the, the flowers that they would put in the beaks of the mask that they would wear to mask the smell of everything. So um, a lot of these fairy tales and these nursery rhymes were coming from a cultural standpoint not from a scientific standpoint and like I said the word science is not a uh, the word science is actually a cultural word uh, it's, it's a political word it's a social word if you've been studying chemistry and haven't talked about melanin or melanocytes or things of that sort then you haven't been studying chemistry you've been studying a, the social and political structure of the Europeans um, but with that said, I do want to also talk about um, the importance of blood and water in the body. So the thing, of, I know I'm kind of jumping around here, but um, I do want to cover a couple of things here, and I'm trying to keep this video short. So um, if you want to, you know, keep your immune system strong and everything, you want to make sure that your hormones are intact. Um, the hormone actually comes from the word Hermes. Hermes is, represents um, the god Mercury. Or uh, Hermes represents it means to communicate basically. So uh, from the word Hermes, they actually get that from the word Thoth. It's a uh, Greek god called Thoth, T H O T H, Thoth. And from there, they actually 
uh, that Vath came from the word um, Jehuti. And the word Jehudi, actually, we get the word in in Jehudi or intuition from that word. Jehudi is an ancient Kemetic or an ancient Egyptian name of one of the uh, one of the deities. Then, so Jehudi gives you the word Thoth. Thoth gives you the word Hermes. Hermes gives you the word Mercury. And from the word Hermes, you actually get the word hormones. Hormones means to communicate. So when your hormones are off in your body, it means that your body cannot communicate. Um, with itself or within itself so things are out of whack basically now the importance of drinking water is because you're actually your hormones could be thrown off from a lack of water how is that possible well in your body um, there's a hormone called estrogen and estrogen is how the body holds on to water or holds on to fat so if the body is dehydrated, the body actually produces more estrogen. So when the body produces more estrogen, it actually tries to hold more water. When it does that, it throws off your estrogen and testosterone levels, which causes uh, libido issues, causes hair loss, it causes um, it causes irritability, it causes many issues. Anything you can think of with the hormonal issue is going to cause that issue by just by being dehydrated. So, um, <laughs> so, um, basically, whenever um, you're dehydrated, you're going to be messing with your hormonal system there. Now, the importance of that is the, the, the water keeps the body filtered th through properly. Now, when we think about breathing, um, <laughs> we think about the lungs, but actually you breathe through your blood. And you believe you breathe through the quality of your blood. So if someone has a skin issue like eczema, psoriasis, or anything of that sort, they also have a lung issue. Um, but I mean, they also yeah, they also have a lung issue. So even though psoriasis and eczema may be considered a skin issue, it's also a blood issue. But it's also a lung issue. So when someone is dealing with those types of ailments, you want to help clean out the blood. So if their blood's not pure or clean enough, they can't breathe quickly because you breathe through the quality of your blood. And your quality of your blood is going to be help, it's going to be filtered through um, your kidneys. So your kidneys are not filtering properly, which is going to cause your blood to get backed up, which is going to cause breathing issues, which is going to cause um, basically a type of, some type of skin issue of some sort. So I know I'm kind of rambling here. I wasn't planning on doing a video right now, but I know I, I didn't do some more. <laughs> Been pretty preoccupied, but um, yeah. So um, when you want to be healthy, you want to address these things. You don't want to just put something on your face and say, okay, now I'm, now I'm healthy or I'm protected. You know, and what I'm basically saying is, you want to go to the core of the issue. You want to go within this, within this, you know, self to understand what's causing the issue. And uh, putting some of your face and walking around. It has nothing to do with health. It has something to do with this uh, psychology and superstition of the Europeans. It has nothing to do with any type of uh, protecting you of anything. You know, it has nothing. It was just another way of their residual, the, their culture, just placating throughout society, which is taking place right now. So I'm not saying not wear a mask because now that people are, you know, <laughs> making it mandatory or whatever. But mandatory doesn't mean legal or illegal so that's another conversation but um so but the thing is um, just understand that you know anything on the surface area is not addressing any type of issue you want to go to the, the, the immune system itself within inside the body with the uh, inside the body and everything i'm sorry i got people a little shouting me out right now in here so i'm trying to <laughs> stay focused on the video but anyway, um, if you have any questions, comments, or any videos you want me to do, um, I'll try to post more. Like I, I've been, like I said, pretty preoccupied lately. But I will be posting more, um, more frequently. So with that said, um, I'll touch bases with you guys later. It's always a pleasure. Stay safe, stay healthy. This is a lifestyle, not a diet. And I'll catch up with you later. Peace.